Yo, what's up guys? Zach Hampel coming to you from Tropicana Field. Yo, 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 yo. Can we, can we do Are this? You in, can we do this inside, man? First of all, it is so hot outside. I'm sweating balls. It's windy. Can we just go inside we always, and... We always do it outside. I know, but... I'm we, trying to tell the people where we are. Yeah, we're, we're in Florida, to... everybody, and it's hot. Let's go inside, dude. We have the place to ourselves. Please. I mean, he is right. We do have the place to ourselves. All right. Nobody wants to see a parking lot. We'll go catch some AC, and I'll break it on down for you on the inside. Ah, I can already feel that breeze. Come on in. Yeah, we were not joking when we said we had the place to ourselves. And that's happening because of the generosity of the Tampa Bay Rays hooking it up with the credentials. So we're inside the stadium before the general public. And as I was trying to say outside, before I was so rudely interrupted by cranky Chris, <coughs> This is Tropicana Field, my 24th different Major League Baseball stadium this season. So only six more to get to all 30. And as you can see, the cage is set up for batting practice. The Rays had a very late game on the road last night, so they're not hitting today, but the Royals are here. They should be hitting, and there's gonna be a whole lot of action starting very soon. I see something. Take a look down here. Woo! Dude, you know there's stairs, right? Right behind you, there's an opening in the railing. Yeah, but that was more fun. Okay, I have a fun idea for a little game. You see those buckets of gum right there? Well, you know how in carnivals, they'll give you balls and you gotta chuck them and like knock a pyramid of bowling pins over? I think if I knock over the buckets, I get to keep the gum. Is that how it works? You ready? Yeah, it's gonna be a really short video if that's the case. <laughs> Let's do something else. Yeah, no, I, I, I wasn't really gonna do that. Um, there's a new couch situation down this way. I don't know how new it is, but I can't remember seeing it. So let's go check that out. Interesting setup they got here in the couch section. If you look underneath, they have a little cubby area to store, I don't know what, if you snag 20 baseballs, you can fit them all there. And look at this, they have armrests with cup holders. Now there's not a ton of space, so for anybody who's like six foot six or taller, RIP, and you are very erect, for better or worse, but. <laughs> you said erect. I did indeed, the kids are gonna love that. Oh, uh, the comments. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool spot, actually. So, here's the situation. The Rays are pretty much done and not doing anything, but the Royals are now out on the field and starting to get ready for BP. So, with the most sincere apologies to the Rays front office, I'm gonna throw on my Royals hat and head over to that side of the stadium. Sorry. So, the gates are going to open in two minutes. The Royals just started hitting. I'm trying to show some restraint by not going down into the seats and picking up all the balls, but in just a moment, game on.
so. I'm going to come talk to you. I'm pretty sure that was Michael A. Taylor who hit it. Oh, look at this. I should stop talking, but... a ball right at the start when they let the fans in. Not sure if we got a shot of it. It was tossed up by one of the guys. I think Chris was moving from the walkway down into the seats. I was. So this one is my third of the day and I'm going to stop straddling the seats like a weirdo and spring back into action. Spring! Hey, what's up? Oh, oh, bounce back. Back. Gotta throw the back. I am now heading over to right field as the second group of Royals BP gets started because there are lefties. Why else? I just heard one hitting the seats. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think Amir Garrett wants to say hi to YouTube. I mean, I was traveling around early in the season trying to catch his first. You ever catch a ball in the stands when you were a kid? I got you. I would love to, but. Hey, when your career is over, let's hit up a game. We'll catch some balls. Zach <laughs> Campbell. And I hope that's not for a long time. Five more, five more, we're good. Five more years, I'll go. All right. City Royals might not exactly be known for their potent offense, but they put on a good show today. They were launching baseballs all over the place, left field, right field, I moved back and forth a little, and it was a whole lot of fun. Now I did not put up huge numbers, I got four baseballs total, and as I often talk about when I come to this place, it's deceptively hard because you think, well, they don't have a ton of fans and you have all this space to move around, but the positioning of the tunnels in the outfield, it does make it tricky. So right now, in just a few minutes, I'm gonna go eat because I think I'm getting access to one of the clubs with all-inclusive food. But first, follow me this way, I'm gonna hang out with these guys for a bit. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? So that's the plan. All right. Did you get a ball? Did you get one? You want this one? That was a home run hit by the Royals. I caught it like pretty much right here. Yeah, I really want that baseball up there, but it's just not meant to be. And so, look at this dude. It's Mike with the hookup. Let's go. Put it on me. Yes, free food. Here we go. How interesting that the first thing you see when you enter the Rays Club is a whole lot of dessert right over there. That's a good sign. In fact, let's take a closer look at it.
coconut pudding. Oh yeah, I'm actually eating this first. I've been up in this Rays Club before, so check out my previous Tropicana Field videos to see more of this action. Again, thanks to my buddy Mike for hooking things up. And I started off by grabbing four things. You can see them right here. We got mac and cheese. We got some pasta with chicken thing. We have what's called a meatball slider. It's really like a piece of pizza with a meatball on top and some pesto sauce and some chicken tortilla soup. So why don't we just go in order? Game time is like six minutes away. So I think I'm definitely, unfortunately, going to miss a little bit of the game, but hopefully not too much. So. Mm. Oh boy. First pitch of the game. Can't catch baseballs in here. So I think this ought to get me started right here. Some bread pudding, some rainbow cake under there. I guess that's cheesecake, Rice Krispie treats, a blondie brownie thing, strawberry shortcake. As we head to the second inning, Yandy Diaz hit a home run. Straight away left field, nice and deep. If I weren't here, 50% chance I would have caught it. charge of one rice crispy treat toll. Thank you. Have a good one, guys. Ever since Yandi led off with that home run, there has been no scoring, but it is nice to be back out in the outfield. Bottom of the third right now, the Rays are on top, 1-0. And I might actually creep over into foul territory when the Royals are up, just because looking at the pitchers and their stats and their ground ball to fly ball ratio, it's more likely that the Royals will be hitting foul balls than the Rays. And I've never gotten a foul ball in this stadium. So, I did get a home run here in 2018, Cole Calhoun's 101st career home run. But I want to get a foul ball, and I got to burn off all those calories from dinner and dessert, so I might be all over the place. We'll leave Fenway Chris here with the big daddy lens. He'll shoot me from afar, and that's pretty much it. to the fifth inning with the Rays still on top, one nothing. I found the guy who has the ball that gave the Rays one. His name is Sterling. Nice job grabbing that thing. And no glove for you. No glove. Bare handed. So my plan for right now, other than trying to get foul balls behind the plate, I did notice that they just hit one into the upper deck, which is totally empty. So maybe with my special privileges today, I can get up there. I don't know. I'll certainly ask and see if it's possible. And my man, good job. Yeah, so it was like right up in there somewhere.
Whether or not I make it upstairs and get that baseball, it's almost not even the point because just look at this. I love checking out ballparks and wandering and seeing the different corridors and the tunnels and the ramps and where it all leads. I mean, look at this. So I guess I'm going to head out of these doors and see what happens next. Well, guess what? I have been given clearance as I move this barricade to head on out this way. Thank you very much. Welcome. So, I am in a totally empty upper deck. This should be fun. Yeah, look at that. They have the tunnels blocked off, but um, security actually called their command post. I'm, I'm not good with security terminology, but they actually asked and they said my name and they're like, we have a request from Zach Hampel to go into the 300 level. And they said, all good. So, uh, yeah, again, one more look out that way and I guess I'll pop out into the seats here in a second. This is fun. I love it. I love it. Man, talk about a unique way of getting a foul ball. That is one of the most fun baseballs that I have ever snagged. And I will just show you the baseball again right here. As you can see the field in the background and this wide open upper deck. Now I am almost certain that that ball was hit by the Rays in the bottom of the fourth. So later tonight or whenever I edit this video, I will re-watch that portion of the game on MLB TV and try to figure it out. And if I do, I'll put the batter's name in the description. And for right now, I'm gonna head back down to the outfield and find a kid to give this to. Michael Massey just launched one deep down the right field line to finally get the Royals on the board. And that was his first major league home run. I should have been out there. And meanwhile, there's been a whole lot of scoring by the Rays since I went upstairs. Right now, top of the eighth inning, Tampa is on top six to one. And now that I'm back here out in left field, I am gonna keep my promise and find a youngster to give this baseball to. I'm young. Get out of here. Yes, yes. was truly nuts and so lucky. I cannot believe it. Christian Bethencourt 
right now, there's only two outs left in the game. Top nine, Razor up seven to one. So, let's see this thing wrap up, and then I will talk all about this after the final out. Oh my God. This game at the Trop is over. The Rays won it by the score of seven to one. Their starter, Luis Patino, had a scoreless outing, so nice job by him. And there were three home runs, 33.3% of which I caught. So just still feeling so happy about that. You can see I am officially the last fan here in the stadium. Thanks again to the Rays for hooking everything up. And I gotta talk about this home run ball, Christian Bethencourt. So, I had gotten that baseball up in the upper deck, which is cheap, I know, I was allowed up there, I got the ball, and then I came out to left field, walked down and handed it to a kid, we got all that on video, and then I was chatting with someone, with the kid, I don't know if it was the kid's mom or Anne or whatever, but they were asking about my YouTube, and I went back to my bag to get a card, I mean, it's a long story, but I ended up back chatting with these folks, and I was sitting there thinking, man, I'm gonna miss a home run, because there's empty rows behind me and they're gonna launch one over my head and I'm gonna be pissed off. And then Bethencourt just hit a laser and I'm telling you guys, the second he made contact with it, I was like, oh my God, I just knew I was gonna catch it. Like sometimes it goes up and I'm like 90% sure, like I have a chance, but no, like 103% sure that I was gonna catch that one. And you know, I lunged way up for it, but it's a good catch, but the luck was way better than that. So anyway, this is one of those rare games where I got a foul ball and a home run during the game. I think that's happened a handful of times. I'll look that up. But um, this is now my sixth game home run ball of the season and number 87 lifetime. So just 13 more home runs to get to triple digits. I am short in the triple digits category at this stadium overall. I think this is like 77 lifetime balls here. So, all right, check the description because I'll throw a link to a page on my website where I list all the game home runs that I've ever gotten. And I will also throw a link there to the MLB highlight where you can see me catch this one. Six balls overall today, including the ones that I gave away. They all count for the lifetime total. So that number is, should I shout it in this quiet stadium? No, there's a TV broadcast going on. Well, I think they should probably hear this. I think all of Tampa and St. Pete needs to know that my number is 11,900 and 76! Ooh, that had a really nice echo. So 24 more balls to get to 12,000 and six more stadiums to hit up all 30 this year. So if you guys haven't subscribed by now, hopefully this is the time. So Fenway Chris behind the camera, thank you for being so patient and filming all the craziness tonight. I'm the tonight. king of patience. That should be my name, Patient Chris. All right, we'll work on that. Um, anyway, my therapist are. we are out of here. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow for one more. And a big thanks to the Rays again for making all this special access possible. Mwah.